The last session of this trading week has kicked off with the positive news. Investors are pricing in the progress in the talks in Congress on additional stimulus measures. The US dollar index, which measures the strength of the greenback against the basket of six major currencies, dived to 90.60, its lowest level since April 2018. Bearish sentiment on the US currency only strengthened amid an uptick in risk appetite. Risky assets advanced after talks between House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell on Thursday. Pelosi expressed her willingness to make significant concessions in order to adopt a new coronavirus relief package to support people and businesses deeply affected by the pandemic. President-elect Joe Biden called on Congress to pass emergency COVID aid. He also promised to push a new pandemic relief bill next year. Speculators stick to a wait-and-see approach to the US dollar ahead of the non-farm payrolls report release, which is due today. If the reading is weak, the Federal Reserve is highly likely to change the course of monetary policy by increasing its asset purchase program or slashing the interest rate. Such a scenario is extremely negative for the US dollar. In addition, investors are factoring in the deterioration of the epidemiological situation in the United States. Traders fear that the country may reimpose nationwide lockdown, which could lead to a subsequent downturn in the economy. The Japanese yen rose amid those worries. The dollar yen pair fell below the resistance level at 104.05. The pair may well decrease to the first bearish target at 103.18. Despite being overbought, the Australian dollar is gaining momentum against the US dollar. It's a trading at near 28 months high. Its rally was spurred by a strong report on retail sales in October. The report showed the first increase in retail sales since July. Yet, traders with the long positions on the Australian currency should be on their guard after the publication of non-farm payrolls data. Investors are likely to lock in profits by short positions on the US dollar. If so, the pair will reverse and drop to 0.7395 and further to 0.7340. That's all for now. We wish you profitable deals. See you on our channel with a new video in a couple of hours.